Hi everyone, Apostle Joshua Selman will be sharing with us on how to find peace, no matter the challenges we might be passing through. This video will bless you so greatly. Stay connected, let your heart be open to receive and prepare to be blessed by this video production. Feel free to share the link to your friends and families. God bless you and thank you. There is rest in peace, but there is go in peace. Rest in peace, we use it for dead people, but go in peace is for people who are alive but are almost dead because of the kinds of trouble. When you say rest in peace, generally is for someone who has died and you are just saying rest in peace, hoping that the person died in Christ. But Jesus did not tell a dead woman. He told a woman who had a dead condition, but she was alive. His final charge to her was go in peace. Do you know why that statement was powerful? If Jesus left that woman to go without speaking peace to her, she would still not be in she would still Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verses 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Peace. When men encounter God, John 14, 27, Jesus said, Peace, I live with you. Are you seeing it, believers? You need to know what Jesus left with us. He did not just leave the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, truly, but you left peace. You ignored it, thinking it's not important. Peace, I live with you. In this wicked world, you need this. Oh, you need this more than money. My peace, I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, he says. Give I to you. Let not your heart be troubled. This is what will happen to you when you don't have peace. Trouble and fear. You will live perpetually. Trouble over nothing and fear. People are dying. Your heart is palpitating. There are many people today who have died because of lack of peace than actual sickness. Are we together? Especially as you grow older. Somehow Satan has programmed this system such that the older you grow, you lose touch of genuine peace. And so you can see young people roam around because they are largely in ignorance. But you see old people sit down and they fear everything. Someone will just sit down and carry a, a BP monitor and see that your BP has gone to the roof. Why is it going there? I just feel like somebody is about to die. This one is not like God is giving you an information. It's just the devil playing with your mind. Peace. Someone say peace. peace. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 7. Philippians 4 and verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, it says it shall keep your heart and mind, keep your spirit and keep your thinking through Jesus Christ. The troubles in this world are many. And let me tell you, if you don't have the peace of God, the devil does not need to kill you. By yourself, you will find out that you can go and fall down in a well and die. So, the rate of suicide has increased. Are we together? Increase in school fees. Increase in everything. Increase in fare, gas price, travel fee whatever it is and when you think about this sometimes you look at your children running around you look at everything you look at your relatives and you find out you are the only one taking care of 22 people and then the two money you have an arm robber meets you at the atm and says remove everything quietly and give it to me at the end of it you can go and sit down at home and literally have high blood pressure and die there are many people today not just an african thing i tell you do you know that the world today is full of sad people? And people cannot, they can't smile, they can't rejoice. What happened? They say, I don't know, the devil is just after my life. They may be right, but anger does not drive him. Your sadness and frowning your face does not drive him. Why are you like this? I've noticed that people don't like me. He first started from my village, but now he's everywhere. <laughs> Someone say peace. You must learn to have the peace of God. If you are in ministry, let me give you an honest counsel. 
If you don't have peace, you may not let, live long. Hallelujah. Bills, rent, criticisms, all kinds of things. If you don't have peace, you will not sleep. You will literally die from worry and lack of sleep. Then your children now come. Then your spouse now come. Then all the troubles in society. They promise you an appointment. They call you the night before and say, get ready. Put all your files together. Just be watching NTA or, or um, what's the, all the other channels. And you watch from morning till night only to see in, in the newspaper they are congratulating someone else. And they say at the 11th hour, they change your name. And you will sit down there and say, so this last one that was supposed to be a manifestation of God's faithfulness, this is how my life will be? Let me go and take poison or let me get a rope and hang myself. I have always wondered how people hang themselves. The pain of hanging yourself, you don't need to, you don't need experience, you just need intelligence. And yet people still do it. Let me tell you the truth. If you've never gone through certain things in life, you will not understand the value of peace. There are, if, if money could on its own buy peace, many rich people will not die. This thing called peace. When God gives you peace, embrace it and receive it, protect it. It's better to throw away your documents and carry peace in order of priority. Hallelujah. Peace. You measure my blood pressure today, you think they gave birth to me last week. I tell you, to the glory of God. This is God's ministry. I am his property, not even just his vessel, his whole property, everything. Find peace. I'm speaking to someone. I know that the rent is due, but find peace. Did you hear what I said? I know your son is not performing well in school, but find peace. I know the ministry does not have support. Things are happening. Find peace. I know your marriage is having some issues. Find peace. Find peace first. When you find peace, a solution can come. Do you know one thing I like about that woman? Even though she had spent her money on physicians, she had every right to be angry. You do not see any display of anger or rage or emotions. No. For a woman who has been 12 years in trouble, she had every right to be angry with anybody. If it was that woman, she would have been insulted some of them and said, get out of the way. You guys don't have the issue of blood. You have no idea what I'm going through. Clear the way for me. Let Jesus heal me before he attends to your nonsense. The way she was able to stay calm and rejoice, I believe it was one of the keys that helped her to touch Jesus. And it was one of the things she got more of after she touched him. Let me charge you. Place your hand on your chest and speak peace to yourself. Say myself, find peace. One more time, say myself, find peace. You may not understand what you are doing, but you just place your hand. Say myself, find peace. That waking up in the night that is already killing you. You are 21 years old and everybody is asking you if you are 40. You are tired of explaining to people that I'm not that old. They say, so why are you like this? We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.